G'day team, it's Hamish here from Automo Tech, and today we're going to compare the 315X versus the 415X. So both these models sit on the same lawn size. The 415X is the, the newer version and the update of the 315X. So it's got all the new features that the modern 400X line series have, which are just getting better and better as the series progress and go on. Both of them are rated to do the same lawn size area. Spec wise, the 315X is rated to do 1600 square meters and the 415X is rated to do 1500 square meters. But going off that as an auto mower technician and installer, I'd recommend anyone not go over 1200 square meters on both these units. Like any auto mower unit, it's best not to max it out to its max area. The max area is plus or minus 20% on, on paper but my preference is to go up to about 1200 square meters on there. From that, you would want to go to a 430. It's just going to do the larger area a lot more efficiently because these still are made to do only the relatively smaller to medium sized lawns. And then when you're stepping up from that, go to the next model up, which will do your lawn in a lot less hours and it leaves you a bit more free time if you want to irrigate or lawn maintenance or you don't want your mower on and off the charge plate. 24 hours a day. So both of them run on the same cutting system. Three rotating razor blades and your skid plate. You will see that the 415X has the updated wheels. And these click in and out, which is a nice a nice add-on where the 315 is the older wheel style which I still really like because it is a bit bigger and it, it is still not too tricky to maintain but this here you can click it out and click it back in so you don't have to go into the chassis or the mower to service that they both work on a boundary system and run one guide wire so your guide wire runs internally through the lawn and your boundary wire is buried around the external area of your lawn. They both have your X-Line front bumper and LED lights. You can see the 415X is a lot more lower profile, slimmer body, so it is slightly narrower, lower, and it's a little bit shorter. So it's a really compact unit. It looks really smart, tucked away in, in lawns and stuff. It will do compact areas and do a really, really well good job. They both have GPS navigated mowing but the 415X has the addition of the AIM mapping which is an advanced intelligent mapping so you're going to see an overlay of the map and your guide wire on your phone. You can set stay at zones and set different heights for different areas. The different heights for different areas is not too applicable for smaller models but it's a feature that can be handy if you do need it. Both of them have a mow time of about 50 minutes, 50 to 60 minutes, depending on how hard they're working. I know on paper the 315X is rated to do 70 minutes, but that's not my finding, so I find it to do 50 to 60. The 415 is, is rated to do 50 minutes, so that should mow around 50 to 60 minutes. That is dependent on how hard the mower is working, so how thick your lawn is, and um, if your schedule is programmed to be enough or not. So I definitely would recommend either of these mowers if you are pick, going to pick up one of these. Both of them do a really good job. Um, you're not going to be any downside if you've got a 315X over the 415X because your lawn's going to look mint either way. If you do already have a 315X, then I wouldn't necessarily worry about updating it to a 415 unless you really care about aim mapping and firmware over the air and uh, and an electronic cutting height adjustment. They're the main, the main differences. Otherwise, both of these will do really well. So that's a quick overview of the two of these. If you've got any questions, shoot them below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.